there ladies, welcome back to my channel, it's Manisha here. So today I'm going to be sharing with you um, some new creative stencils from She Modern. So these are um, reusable and they'll just allow the user or the creator um, to use glitters and powders and pigments and things like that to make patterns on their nails. So currently there's five different um, stencil options available and um, I've got all five of them here. So if you buy multiple packs they will just come in one sleeve unless you specify that they're for gifts and then she'll um, obviously wrap them individually but I think this is a really great eco-friendly way of sending them out because um, we're all trying to do our bit for the environment and it's great to reduce packaging where you can. So the stencils themselves are um, as I mentioned before reusable and they're um, flexible so you'll get four patterns on a sheet apart from one of the ones which is um, stencil number one and they just come in a set of two that and they look like this are a little bit different so that's what they look like and so these ones here I'll just show you a little bit more of a close-up of the different patterns so this is set number two and you get some hearts some sort of moons um, water drops and ovals set number three you get some other sort of teardrop type shapes um, you've got your mermaid or fish scales diamonds and rectangles Set number four, you've got some little flower designs there. Um, these are like little semicircles, diamonds, and squares. And set number five, you've got circles, triangles, um, hexagons, pentagons, I can never remember. I think they're hexagons, and also some little um, cute, they look like flower images or what. Yeah, so you've got pretty much every shape that you need there. And then you've also got these that are great for making straight lines, curves, and um, moons, and sort of like zigzag type images. So you can reuse those. So I'm going to be showing them to you on some pop sticks today. Um, there are I've already got polishes you know colors colors on them you get them like this they come in a little um, plastic sleeve and they do actually have a um, cardboard backing and then the actual stencil itself is stuck onto this um, if I can get it off it's actually it's not sticky or anything but it's like a vinyl type thing and it just sticks to the plastic and that just helps it stay nice and flat when you're storing it. So when you finish storing it, you can just kind of just pop it back onto there again. Um, and then you can, I've got that back to front now, but never mind. Then you can just sandwich it between there and then pop it back into that card, that sleeve. Or if you've got like a little folder that you keep all of your... Um, you know like vinyls and um, stickers and things like that you'd better just pop them into there and then just grab them whenever you need to use them but like I showed you uh, mentioned before they are flexible um, and so you can you know they will go to the shape of your nail they've got a little bit of stretch in them but not a lot but I mean you do need a little bit if you're trying to get round curves and things like that wouldn't be too forceful with them but um, they are reusable so they should be robust enough and so I'm going to be using it with a couple of products from She Modern, which is um, advisable if you are going to be using these. And one of them is the glue gel. So this is actually a um, gel that you pop over your um, base that you've already got ready. It's just clear. And then you just cure it in the lamp and that will give you a nice sticky surface for the vinyls to stick to or the stencils to stick to. You've also got a dry colour binder. So this is just a water soluble um, powder and that just helps the um if you're just doing one glitter color just to stick to the nail so that you have a nice clean um, image when you remove the stencils and none of the glitter sticks to your top coat so it just gives a nice clean fresh look so you can purchase these from she modern as well and of course i'll have all the links for you down below um, and i'm going to be using um she modern's glitters and i've got um, a bit of a collection of them now but i just wanted to show you how i store them um, because I know people have asked in the past and I've come across a really cool acrylic stand on um, AliExpress and I just store them like this so I color code them so they do come with a little um, triangle bit at the top there and I just pop a bit of the base coat and sprinkle the, um, the glitter 
and then I cure it in my lamp and then pop a coat of top coat on and cure it again. So that's how I um, store them like this. So that acrylic stand, um, they're not very expensive. Um, this is what they look like when they're empty zoom out a little bit for you so that's what they look like and there's very um, lots and lots of um, sellers that sell this I just shop around try and find who's selling it the cheapest and um, I think I've picked them up for under four dollars new New Zealand dollars which is probably about three dollars US so yeah very very cheap and they do store 24 um, you know glitters and they're really easy to get in and out as you can see so you can see the colors at a glance that way and obviously that way i also find them handy for um cats polishes so i've actually ordered more because i'm going to be storing these these are cats polishes so i'm actually going to be storing them um in the holder too now, i think they're actually classed as lipstick holders but anyway that's what i'm going to be using them for so i've ordered a few more of them and it just keeps everything really tidy so anyway i thought i would just share that with you um, as a really cool storage solution for your glitters and powders and things like that from she modern so now on with the swatches i'm just applying a coat of the foil glue and i'm just going to cure that for 30 seconds and um, I'm just going to place the stencil on that foil glue that's been cured now. Just You can reposition it if you need to. But I'm trying not to touch the surface um, as much as possible. Um, it's probably best to use a silicone tool or something like that just to press it down with. And then once you're happy with the placement, just pop your glitter on and just pat it down. So this is the nail here. So before I remove the stencil, I'm just going to mix the um, dry bonder with um, just a tiny bit of water and I felt that was a little bit watery at this stage so I decided to add a little bit more just to get the consistency I wanted and I'm just going to pop that onto the nail so I'm just sort of using a dabbing action and what this is going to do is fix the glitter onto the nail so that um, when you top coat it it won't move around it basically just sits in, in place so then I'm going to carefully remove the stencil, try not to disturb um, all that you know work you've done underneath. So I'm just going to kind of carefully remove that. Now I did actually just wash the stencil after this. Um, you can use a little bit of isopropyl alcohol um, as I showed here. And I've just given the um, nail a few minutes to dry and then I'm just going to top coat it with my gel top coat and cure that in the lamp again and that nail is pretty much done. Then I'm on to stencil number three. So this one has the cute little fish scale or mermaid um, pattern on it. Just using a blue teal hollow first. Just gonna pat that onto all the spaces there and then remove that. And then the spaces that are left, I'm just gonna add some blue hollow to those spaces. So this will give you a little bit of a contrast. You can go darker still and use black. Um, I just sort of decided to use blue instead just to keep in with the um, those sort of ocean colours. Just going to remove any extra and then dust it off with my little duster and then I will top coat that off camera. So now we're on to stencil number four. So this one's got the really cool um, sort of square shapes and I'm going to use that other stencil. You can just sort of see I've got it um, over the rest of the nail. So this is just so I can section part of the nail off. I'm adding black um, glitter on the tip of the nail. Then I'm just going to remove that stencil and reposition it, leaving a couple of blank squares again. And then I'm just adding silver chrome. Um, I just wanted to just sort of make a little bit of a fade with these colours. So I've tried to get a grouping of colours that work well together. And then last but not least, I'm going in with silver. So if you've probably noticed, I started off with the darkest colour first and I finished with the lightest colour. Once I'm happy with that, I'm just going to carefully remove the stencil. And on the areas that are left without any glitter on, I'm just going to apply a white iridescent glitter. I mean, you could leave it at this stage as is, um, but I probably would have used the dry pigment binder um, before actually removing the stencil just to um, you know keep everything in place but because I've used glitter over the whole nail now you can just brush it off quite confidently 
and next up I'm going to use a honeycomb design so that's on stencil number five I think I'm up to now so I'm just using a mixture of orange hollow and gold hollow but at the end of it it kind of all looked the same and um, these colors look really similar over the um, neon orange base just using my finger again you can use a lint remover to clean glitter and stuff off your fingers in between um, and just keep your work surface clear and then in the in between the um then i'm just gonna put black hollow so my last design i'm just gonna or second to last design i'm just using the creative stencils number one and i'm going to create something a bit of um a little bit of fun here it's actually a rainbow design so i thought i would use a few different colors and um, as i mentioned before i'll have everything listed for you down below I had to speed this video up because it was going to just get way too long so that's why everything's kind of sped up at the stage um, so I'm just going to work through the different colors here and remove the stencil and just reposition it and get to the base of the nail going to finish off with orange orange and then just brush off the excess and then on my last nail I um, thought I'd just use a different side of that stencil just so you can kind of get a few different ideas on how to use it so I'm using a orange glitter and the brown glitter I sort of want to do sort of autumn-y colors or something reminiscent of um, 70s fabrics so I've just sort of used those two colors there I've peeled the um, stencil off and repositioned it and just added a stripe of gold so now before removing it I'm just going to add a layer of my top coat and then carefully remove the stencil and then cure the nail back with all the final swatches and what do you guys think uh, i think that's a really cool system and um, it does open up so many different possibilities as far as using glitters and things like that go and patterns and that there is not another system i know out there that you know offers the same um advantages of using um glitters in this way so i think it's great it's reusable and it's nice and easy to achieve so just running over them again so i've got a mermaid design there that i did in um a blue so and then i've just gone into the spaces with the um the darker blue color and then i've done a cool rainbow one i really like how this one turned out this was um just sort of an impromptu thing i wanted to do something using the smaller creative stencils so i really like how that's turned out of course you can do a rainbow with straight edges if you want to so i've just used the curved side but you can use the straight side and do something really similar so i did a bit of a fade using black silver chrome or i think it might be called something else it used to be called gray comb i think chrome i think it's called silver chrome and then we've got silver and white iridescent so this was done on a gray base that have looked at this pattern and i thought of bees and things like that so i've done a couple of different um glitters that kind of merged into the, um, the other there's an orange and a gold hollow and then i did black um for the pattern um i don't know what to call this one but i, I really like it i think it's quite cool actually it reminds me of sort of 70s patterns and things like that so we've got a brown orange and a champagne gold and i've just left the um, base color just peeking through there so I've sort of used the smaller creative stencils for that one and then last last but not least I think this is the first design I did so this was with the um, pink blush pink blush iridescent glitter over a pink base so it's really super sweet so yeah amazing really really cool and um, you know i will leave all the links thanks again she modern for sending these out i haven't had an absolute blast i'll leave some um photos for you now of these so you can have a bit of a closer look and of course i will leave all of the direct links for you down below where you can find these goodies and i'll just leave a full list of all the um the glitters that i've used um just so you know what i've used and um if you have any further questions or anything like that just um just drop me a little note in the comments section i'll be happy to help where i can apart from that if you haven't done so already definitely subscribe to my youtube channel it is free to do so and hopefully i'll see you in the next one bye for now